Hey guys, we're back with another election prediction video. This time we have Pete Buttigieg, the Transportation Secretary under the Biden administration versus Governor of Florida, Ron DeSantis. And Pete Buttigieg, as I said before in the last video I made uh, yesterday, Pete Buttigieg is definitely more popular than Harris, but is he more popular than Biden? Or is he just neutral with Biden? It's hard to say. I think he would be a little bit less unpopular with Biden just based off the whole favorability ratings aspect of it. But he is for sure more popular than Harris, and that's because he's just a lot more charismatic than her. But let's head right into this election prediction. First things first, we're going to do Iowa and Ohio. Ohio, I think the Senate will probably carry up by over 10%, but Iowa would be a bit more competitive just because Pete Buttigieg, he's the right type of Democrat to... At least have a chance in Iowa if it was not such like if it wasn't such a good Republican uh, opponent in Ron DeSantis. If it was a weaker Republican, he could totally get to lean or even flip it. But against DeSantis and with Pete Buttigieg's currently low favorability ratings, I don't think he's going to win this state. Texas and Florida, I'm going to do both of them. His lack of appeal with Latina voters definitely going to sink him in both these states. Uh, in North Carolina and Georgia. His lack of appeal with African-American voters we've seen in the 2020 primary. He's going to lose North Carolina by five to six points. Georgia, three-point victory for DeSantis, I would say. Around three points. It could go to two or four. So two to four points. But I would say three. Um, Virginia and Colorado, I think he would carry both these areas by likely margins. He's a bit of your standard Democrat. However, New Mexico would go to a 4% victory for Pete Buttigieg. It would become a lot more competitive because of his lack of appeal to Latino voters. Arizona as well. It's just that I don't think he appealed to moderate conservatives like uh, how Biden did in the 2020 election. North, oh, Nevada also. His lack of appeal to Latino voters is going to sink him in that state as well. Let's do Maine. Maine, I think you'd probably carry it by a lean margin, while DeSantis would win Maine second by an over 10% margin. And New Hampshire even would uh, flip to DeSantis. Just because Trump did a lot of things that kind of pissed off New Hampshire, that's why I rated that for Pete Buttigieg in the last video. He he didn't really, he called it a drug infest den, comments like that, and he didn't really appeal himself as a sort of moderate candidate. But uh, DeSantis, he could kind of move away from that toxicity Trump has in certain states, like in Georgia, Arizona, New Hampshire. He could move away from that. All right, let's do the Rust Belt. So I still think Pete Buttigieg would narrowly carry Nebraska second, but it'd be very, honestly, nah, I don't know. Now I'm rethinking it. I really think DeSantis could probably get a narrow victory here in Nebraska's second against Pete Buttigieg. Even though he's such a moderate candidate, I just think DeSantis is such a good candidate that they'll probably flip that area. Wisconsin even would go to a likely scenario here just because hmm, it'd be around a 4.5 to 5.5% victory for DeSantis in this area. I'm hesitating by putting a light. I'm going to say it's lean. I don't think he's as terrible as Harris to lose that state by a likely margin. However, Pennsylvania, he would lose by a lean margin. Michigan, he'd lose by a lean margin. And Minnesota, it would still narrowly end up going into Pete Buttigieg column, but it'd be a lot closer. So that's my election prediction. If it was these two candidates, let me know what you think of this in the comments below. Like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.